Oh, oh. Look, 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 look. We have a meter point down here. Ooh. Coming in hot, coming in hot. Today we are once again going to put curly tail soft bits against paddle tail soft bits and see which one's going to catch the biggest and most pipe. This is up next. Oh my god, bosses! Mille, mille, mille! <laughs> there we freaking go! Dzień dobry, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Buenos Good dias. morning, ladies, and welcome back to another spicy episode featuring Team Haimon. Yeah, we are glad that you are willing to join us for a full day of pike fishing in the North Silver 585 fish. We are super excited, as always, because we have a spicy challenge for you guys. Yeah, as uh, perhaps you might know, or if you don't, you can click the link up here. We did this test already in. Uh, like 17, 18 degrees of water, but now it's m mid November and we're gonna try it out. Paddle versus curly, maybe. Yeah. yeah, so what's up is that we're gonna do paddle tail soft baits versus curly tail soft baits and see yeah. what we will catch more fish on, bigger fish on. Yeah. We'll take everything in consideration, but we will give them an honest comparison in cold water fishing. Like Mila said, we did this this summer uh, yeah. and then the paddle tails outfished yeah. the curly tails completely. Especially the shark shed, it was absolutely killing it. Yeah. But now it's uh, three. Uh, I, yeah, I think we ended up like eight two or something. Yeah, but crushed it completely. Crushed it completely words. with the paddle tail. But now we're gonna do it again in three degrees Celsius. Yeah, after reading your comments on YouTube on the last challenge, yeah. you said like, yeah, that's in warm water, but redo this in, in the yeah. winter, in the cold water, and you'll see what happens. Yeah, and since we aim to please, here we are, mid-November. On duty. On duty, all for the sake of science. Yeah, classic challenge rules, Mila starts with one of them, I start with one of them, after one hour we change yeah. to eliminate the angler factor. We should make a t-shirt of that, angler factor, Maybe, what, yeah. what is that? <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, but uh, you know, when you have the mojo, you have the mojo, and we're changing every hour to take that otherwise it wouldn't it would be unfair yeah but uh, today we're gonna fish mostly one spot the whole day so today we're actually gonna see if there's a big difference or not yeah let's get there and uh, let's show the yeah, people yep. let's do it boom so this is the place where we're gonna fish a big deep hole in this kind of lake we were actually here yesterday filming a shallow versus deep versus medium depth nurse challenge yesterday yeah and we found bait fish and active pike in this uh, deepest part of the lake. These waypoints are, uh, you know, bait fish and pike that we caught and the, like activity overall. So it actually looks pretty promising. It's a little bit less wind and a little bit colder, but I still think we should be able to get something because yesterday we really learned how to fish this this place. Actually, this could be a good spot to see the bait fish on the left. Here we have a school of bait fish on the left side. We had uh, good activity here before. Yeah. Look, now we have something on the bottom here also. I think that might be a pike. Okay, turn the water down. Bam. Bam. Alright, Miller, down to the challenge. What do you want to start down with? Down to the challenge. I can start with... Uh, you know what? Numbers. You know what? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, I'll go with the pedal ones. Okay, cool, thanks. I'm gonna catch a Bronchosaurus on uh, this one, I think. Going with this flat nose dragon, rigged on a 25 gram beef deflex head. Fishing it with a Gator Stinger Big that I've uh, swapped out the treble hooks for a Gamakatsu 2.0. How do you say cast in like French? Le petit cast. Le cast de première. De, <laughs> de la day. And I'm gonna let this one all the way down to the bottom. Okay guys, so before we spoil the result and I mean start catching fish, seeing any pattern, please leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Which lure type will win today? What's your preference? What would you start using in uh, situations like this? This is mid-November, really cold in the air, three degrees in the water. Whoa, on the right side, Mille. Ooh. You're not rigged up yet. You see a nice echo here. Oh, it's rising, 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 rising. Come on. Oh, it's close. Oh! No. Took the, no. No! Mad! Mad! <laughs> <laughs> no! I haven't even started fishing. 
Look, we saw this pike on the right side of the boat and we also saw it here on the 2D sonar. Somewhere here I dropped by, down my lure beside the boat. Not where the transducer is. And here the, the pike disappeared from the transducer angle. And, uh, and la, la bam, in la première, in la caisse du second. I'm gonna take my first cast of the day. I have my Mega Bass IP79 and I'm fishing the Lizard X Stefan Trumstedt Signature Edition. Woohoo! Well, they are fishing again! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Epic! The timer of the challenge, one hour, starting now. Trying to learn French. Okay. Start covering with water now. 8.1 meters, 3.2 degrees. To clarify, we're in the archipelago of Åland Islands. And normally you never find a pike in water deeper than like four meters in the archipelago. Oh. I'd say this is really rare. Like we said, we were out here yesterday. We started off in the weed line going around looking for pike like we usually do. Didn't find like a single one, like one bite, but uh, nothing at all what we usually have. And it, we said like, okay, these fish need to be somewhere. And we started looking around on the sonar and boom, we found her out here in the middle. So don't get stuck in your old presumptions of how things are working. And look, now we can also see. Now I have a school of bait fish. We moved in here on the right side. All this is bait, like rope, bream, rod, whatever. Some kind of food. Fish food. Oh, rising, rising. Hey! Ooh. It took me this lure. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Big fish, big, big, big fish. fish. Oh, big it's fish. okay, it's okay. It's okay, fish. Yeah, so. look as you rise. Yeah, I, I filmed oh, it. I filmed oh, the screen. Filmed the screen. Freaking god, dude. They killed that shark's head. Oh, or, or that hooligan. I, I just switched the hooligan. Yes, bro. Dude, how cool was that? Oh, thank you. I'm going to give you a few numbers. That's so funny. There we go! Nice start of the morning! The first one goes for paddle bait. Oh man, that's a nice pike! Ooh, that's so sick, dude! What a start of the morning! Look at that pike! Man, that was cool! Oh my goodness, man, I'm just getting into... Oh, she was barely even hooked. But I'm just getting into this vertical fishing and... Uh, man, it's cool! Show us the pike, cover up. Thanks to the hummingbird, we have the first fish of the morning. Let's take a quick measurement on her. All right, and here we have about 78. 78 beautiful 78 centimeters. 78 beautiful centimeters. Okay, let's put her back. Let's put her back. So, first fish on the morning for hooligan roach. I really like this bait for deep water fishing since it has such a wide profile a really big paddle and really perfect perfect movement and what's good about this bait is that you can get them in our web shop www.canalgratis.se but we also have a bunch of support shops around the world actually who's selling the lures for us and if you happen to have a shop and you want to sell our lures just drop an email to this address right here and uh, we will take the details from there. End of uh, support message now, I'm gonna make it 2-0 to paddle baits. It's rising, 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 rising hot. You just try to leave it up. Vertical. Stop it for a second. Coming in hot, coming in hot. Another one coming. What if I just try to read it up? Try a little bit. This is why I don't catch anything, I'm just filming with this action. Oh, poisson! Poisson! This is probably the one. Tail. This is the one you played with, I think. I, I stopped be below the boat and like, bam! There we go! Angry Pike on the Gold Digger. Fat nose dragon! Absolutely smoking hot right now. Yeah, 1 1, Paddle versus Curly, Cold Water Edition. This one is uh, smaller, but still very, very fun pike. Bam! She smoked this one. What I really like about those curly tails, especially in cold water, is that on the drop, you know, no matter how slow they drop, this tail is gonna, you know, ripple down, super seducing, and uh, the pike are biting. Ooh! And look how she just smoked that one, man. Yeah. All right, one one. So let's put it back. Just a quick little release down here in the three degree water. Tell your friends that we're kind. Ooh, it's cold. I'm really glad I'm not a pike today. Man. Ooh. 
when using the Flatnose Dragon shallow rig in shallow water, I like to use either one treble hook rig or slightly smaller hooks. I would like one of hooks and uh, not attached to the belly, like hanging free like this. Then you get this perfect rolling action. When you have this uh, flex head mounted, it gets uh, much more steady action, not really wiggling that much. Uh, then it's all about this tail, makes uh, quite a big difference. But now I like to have them like this, because now they won't tangle at all. Let's take another one, man. Yeah. Boom, come on. Oh. Mm. Oh, not a... Ooh. Nice. Saw so it coming, saw so it coming, oh, I hope you, you guys did too. Man. Yeah, it came, took both sides. Completely inhaled it, look at this. Ooh. Pontus, can you see any flat nosed dragons? No, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's uh, hiding in here, let's see. Oh boy, are they feeding today. I'm pretty sure that this fish is one of them that we played with a vertical jigging. But uh, I think you need to, you know, really trick them and like get them hunting, get them chasing yeah. something from, you know, not... Sure looks like it. And we have 2-0 curly tail lures. As planned in, in this cold water. All right, flat nose dragon, gold digger. Pike approved. Pike approved. <sighs> Epic. That's uh, close to 78. Let's, let's give it a quick measure. Like 70, 74 centimeter. Boom. Back. All right, so now it's really up to me to make it 2-2 two -two again. Uh, curly tails just took the lead, but I'm gonna make damn sure to change that again. Boom. Ready for another one. <laughs> Did you see it? No. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, like the other ones, but man. And it's it's like, gonna come back probably, like when you hold it down there. Oh man. They're so see, on. Yeah, they're so on. Ooh. It was a pretty small one though. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh. oh man, this was an intense first hour. So much fun. Repeat. Boom, do we have one more hour on the clock? I'm gonna go net the lock again. Oh, I'm gonna go this one. Shark Chad. Read on a 20 gram jig head. Same stinger. This is like one of my top two, I would say, lures for this kind of fishing. It's this one and Hooling Roach that Millie's using that I like most for pelagic fishing in deep water since it has such a nice profile. Slow rolling action with, you know, heavy, slow vibrations like donk, 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 donk. Fish on! Ooh. On a shark. Swimming towards me. This might be a little bit better. This one feels heavier. Yeah, biggest of today. Long one. Oh, long one. I was just starting to take my breakfast. Yeah. When well, this beauty smacked the shark chat, we're like uh, not many casts into second hour. And Paddle Tails just scored the biggest pike so far of today. Get over here. We actually forgot the net at home today. Oh. I've done that before. <laughs> it came up and I, I gill gripped it. <laughs> ah, score for Pell Taylor. Did you see that rescue operation? <laughs> she was hooked so, so barely at the side of the mouth. And I saw like, okay, this is gonna come off, this is gonna come off. And she did like rolling in the surface, came off and she laid upside down for like two seconds. Like, ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I just managed to get my fingers into her jaws here. And uh, here we are, biggest fish of the day. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> say that's a 95, let's check it out. I think it's low. But very skinny. I think it's high 80. Could be. Oh, did I say 88 eight centimeters or did I say 88 eight centimeters? Or did I just think 88 eight centimeters? I don't know. Um, no, it's, yeah, 89. Eight, eight 89 centimeters on paddle tailors. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> ah, so much fun. Those sick things just keep happening all the time when we're out, Miller. Crazy stuff. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's how we do it! Ooh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like a boat. I've never done that before. <laughs> so I'm gonna try flat nose drag on proper pike, rigged it upside down. And hopefully soon I'm gonna show you why that's the best way to rig a flat nose dragon. By hooking into a nice fish, but we don't know. Let's try it. It's better to rig it the correct way. No, yeah. it's not. You're always wrong about that. You're always wrong about anything. It makes no sense to rig it like that. Alright! Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Miller, my man! Look at this, middle drop down, fish came up, and boom! You know what? I didn't even see a fish there. I just thought <laughs> I'll go down. Fun, you know? Where's the try, you know? What is it? 3-3? Three, three. No, 3-2. Three, yeah. 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Boom! Oh. Boom! Nu är det där kommer helt sjukt! Helt jävla sjukt! Alltså man undrar när det börjar bli bra här. Vad menar du? Ja, man undrar när de går ut hit på det. Team high mode on the water, drone in the air, flat nose dragon in the water, Miller ready with the hook set, boom, yeah. boom, boom. Yeah, that was cool. Like I, like I already said, I'm rigging the flat nose dragon upside down. In uh, this way, you have, you get two completely different lures uh, when you buy a flat nose dragon. You can rig it the right way, and it has a nice rolling action, or you can rig it downwards, and you will have a slow, slow, steady retrieve. And uh, that me, me and Milo always have the discussion which one is the best. Milo always uses this, I always use the right way. Yeah, but, and, uh, but I'm works. catching a lot of fish uh, on this. Yeah, so now we have 4-2 two two four two to Curly. And yeah. that's uh, according to plan, because I, I think I would Curly so is better. Or Boom. proper pike flat nose dragon is oh, better yeah. at least. That's smoking. That was cool drone footage, I think. Now the sun is out too. Oh! Repeat. Um, all right, you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try blue white flat nose. Oh. And this one don't need no upside down action. I think this blue white color can be really good in this cold water. Which one oh, are you sure. going for, my friend? I'm think I'm going back to that uh, gold digger dragon. Gold digger. Yeah. All right. Have a look at that. Let's try this one out now. Woohoo! Shit's about to go down. Klart vatten här. Oh, oh. Look, 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 look. We have a meter park down here. I was just saying that it's so clear water here. We can see the lure coming from deep down and this one is tangled. And I can see this close to meter pike coming up and inspecting it. I think what we're seeing now is the result of this clear sky coming up and this uh, no wind situation that we're having. Compared to yesterday when we were here, the challenge we've been talking about, we had like six meters per second wind, rain the whole day, really, really low pressure, like perfect pike conditions. Now this is shaping up to be a little bit not perfect pike conditions. But still, man, that was like the first follower. Yeah. And they're still eating hard. Yeah, I mean, they, need to eat. they can't be picky about the conditions, I think. Like every cast now when you reel in, it's so exciting. You know, I had the same feeling when that uh, other pike came up. I was, you know, watching it coming up from two meters down. You can see it. Oh yeah, look at this. Here we have bait on the left side. That's marked. It's actually because this is the 
The biggest school of bait fish we've seen today is waypoint 062. Well, no, this is bait. Let's spot lock here because this amount of bait fish always attracts pike. So you guys standing around here. Which it obviously did. I mean, just had a nice pike. Mille, mille, mille! What is this? This curly tail, this fat nose dragon is freaking killing it right now. This is pike number seven! Oh, that's like, oh, that's like really, really big. This is dude. 90 plus. Oh, on the gold digger. Oh, mille, mille, mille! Oh, pontus, pontus, pontus! Get up here. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Get over here. Why didn't we bring the net? Well, we never bring the net when we catch big fish. Yeah! There we freaking go! Oh man! Le meter plus! Le, nah, not really, I think. This is fat, but not really a meter. 95 plus. Gold digger, baby! Gold digger! We were just talking about how crazy it is that this uh, curly tail, uh, what's the score? 7 now 2. 7 2. 7 2 to curly tail. I mean, and I mean, pedal tail is. I've had 50% of the time. It wasn't it you who created the gold digger? Yeah, it was. It was also me who created this lure, kind of. You know, I put the ideas of Edwin Johansson together with Paolo Pacciarini with the original dragon tail, you know, the fly fishing style thing. I just got the idea that this kind of tail on a flat nose would be sick. So I talked to Edwin, I talked to Paolo, and the result is flat nose dragon. Look how she took that bait, yeah, dude. My, this is my favorite cold water bait. But man, now period. it's 7 2 to curly tails. And in the summer edition, it ended 8-2 to paddle baits. Yeah. Oh, this is so sick. So, so sick. sick. <laughs> it's like you guys were right in the comments that we need to do this in the winter time, like cold water. Because uh, now the curlies are smoking it. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> she smoked this one so hard. Like, look how many breams that must have made their way down that throat. <laughs> yeah. So, meter pike or not, man? I think it's a little bit shy of one meter. Okay. I, ah, close. Yeah. No. No meter, but 95. 95 centimeters, absolutely beautiful pike. Biggest one goes to curly tail. Most the most goes to curly tail. Exactly. It's freaking smoking it. Let's put it back. Boom, 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 oh, dragon. That's so sick, dude. Yeah. 95 so beautiful centimeter. Ah. Oh. It's sick. Yeah. And it's only like lunchtime. Yeah, yeah. We haven't we fished have for too long at all. Yeah, and that was pike number 82, 72? 72. 72. So pike number nine of the day. That's sick. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're one of those who don't have any curly tails in your box, yeah. now it's about time to get them. Late fall, early spring, cold water. They seem to scientifically work better. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we did this in summertime as scientific as it can get. The pound yeah. tails work better, but now in cold water, this it's the curly tails. Let's Seems keep like on it. going, man. It's not long until it's changing time. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, Poisson! Poisson, Poisson! I mean, it's hooked up. 7-3 to pal. Oh, double take! Yeah, double man. take here. This is actually rather heavy, you know? I push me mine through here. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, oh, it's a decent one. I mean, double take. This is sick. Does it get any better than I this, mean, man? okay, fish number eight, three. Yeah, eight, three. three. Boom. <gasps> Finally, some action for the paddle bait. Yeah, fish number three for paddle, fish yeah. number eight for curly. 
They are on. They're on. We just found a big school of bait fish here, and here they are feeding. We're gonna do this. It's not a big, really big one. Yeah, but look at this down in the throat. Yeah, Have that's crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So flat nose shad versus flat nose dragon, one one. Yeah, one one. <laughs> yeah. And eight three. Yeah. Let's keep on going, man. Boom. Then it's changing time. Yeah. Okay, let's try some trolling while moving place, having a cup of coffee. Kolla baitet, här är det största stimmet än så länge. Kolla, alltså kolla nu. Där har vi en. Point controlling. One moving spot, we threw out the lures. And I now hooked into fish number... 9-3. 9-3 now. We're keeping the same ratio. This might be another nice pike. Trolling pike, Billy, this was not yesterday. Actually really fun to do some handheld trolling with a trolling motor. That's why they're called trolling motor. After all, boom, the tail is actually like sucked down into the throat, like the real throat. Boom, boom, the gold digger is doing the trick. Another, I would say, 84. just yeah, just shy of 80, I would say. Let's, let's check. 81, nice shuka. I'm gonna do a really quick release on this one, like this. They can swing back so fast. Millie's hooked up, flat nose shad. Is it a nice one? I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. It's a big one. Ooh, nice fish, Millie. Oh my God, on spin. Yeah, we, I just got one on trolling, we stopped. Millie cast it out and boom. Was that a fun take? Yeah, man, that was absolutely ridiculous. Look at this nice pike. Another like 80. Just shy of 80, I think. Yeah, and where the pedal. Flat nose shad. Oh wow. It's gone. And now it's 942 curl takes. Yep. So I've got a lot of ropes, man. Yeah, me too. Ciao ciao. Okay, time's up everyone. And, and the paddle versus curly this time is over. And we have a clear winner this time also. Yeah, the cold water edition of paddle versus curly tailors. What is the result, Mila? We have nine pike for the curly tails and we have four pike on the paddle bait. And the biggest pike was caught on curly. The curly is the clear winner of today. Yeah. Shoo! Yay, it takes and a... This one will throw that one away. Say that for the summer. Those are better in the summer and curly tails are better in the winter. Yeah, but what is very interesting is like every time we've done the bright versus dark lures, for example, we haven't really noticed any difference. Yeah. Like we've done it three times now and it hasn't been any larger difference. Even when we've done it in clear water, murky water or whatever, the dif there hasn't been a difference. Yeah. Now we've done this twice and the first time the pedal tails outfish the curly tails as we thought they would. Yeah. Same thing today. We thought, actually you guys thought that the curly tails would outfish the pedal tails, which they did. Yeah. Big success. So please let us know in the comments below what other challenges you want yeah. us to take on. We're up for it. Yeah. Lights out. Ciao. Ciao. What's on? What's on? Holy smokes! That's a real